Bowman from the Chanticleer restaurant right here in Manchester, and... Welcome to Jeanette Dinner Party! Yeah. Yeah. Wow, what a crowd, huh? What a crowd! It's so nice to see you again, you know, and well, welcome you know, back to Vermont. Well, thank you, and there we met at the bagel place, and we decided, wouldn't it be great to have a party together? And, and here we are. And here we are. And, and we're so glad you're all here. Yay, yeah, what a great crowd, too. Yeah. Now, what are we going to have tonight? Well, uh, you know, we're going to have a little fall theme since it's uh, late October, and uh, so it's kind of like a, a harvest dinner with... Uh, our uh, first course is going to be a roast pork tenderloin, a curabuta roast pork tenderloin, mm -hmm. which we're going to marinate with some right. herbs and garlic and citrus, and we're going to talk about that a little bit longer. We're going to serve that over a root vegetable hash, ah. uh, all, local, all local vegetables and some chorizo sausage in there. We're going to top it with uh, some uh, bourbon braised uh, stewed apples, uh, honey crisp apples with a little vanilla and star anise. And we're going to put that over the, over the tenderloin, which we're going to brush with some Dijon mustard. Mm. And then we're going to make a pumpkin cheesecake. Oh, and, uh, I'm hungry already, and, uh, aren't you? some caramel oh. sauce and uh, oh, some whipped good. cream with belly and Kahlua. And oh, my goodness. <laughs> then, then we're going to roll you out Aren't of you here. all glad you came? <laughs> oh. uh, so. Now, all of the ingredients are local ingredients. Uh, pretty is that much right? so. We have a, we have a, this is a, we have a cider reduction going over here. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, this is actually the end product of a gallon of cider. So wow. you can imagine how strong and delicious that's going to be. Uh -huh. In the cider reduction, we have uh, bay leaves, we have black peppercorns, we have star anise, and we have a cinnamon stick. So kind of smells so good. And it's uh, it's from Dutton's, you know, so mm -hmm. all local uh, honey crisp apples from Dutton's yeah, as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so we're going to let this go, and before okay. we continue, I'm uh, just going to show you the marination of the pork, and it's very, very simple. We're just going to use uh, uh, some fresh rosemary, mm -hmm. and a little bit of thyme, thyme leaves, uh -huh. and uh, just kind of strip them off a little bit, uh -huh. and uh, some garlic. So garlic is good on everything, you know? Absolutely. So just a couple cloves of garlic, Smells and uh, you know, just a... Uh, just gonna make like a little bit of a, of a paste with that, you know? So you're just gonna chop this up. I love that knife. Yeah, I'd say it does the job. It's a wonder, it's actually it's been, uh, it's a gift. Ah. And I love gifts of knife. But anyway, so uh, we're using a curabuta pork uh, loin. Okay. Uh, pork tenderloin, I'm sorry. And uh, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful breed and it's uh, super delicious and has a lots of flavor. So you see, I'm just uh, chopping up the, the the garlic and the um, rosemary and a little bit of uh, the thyme. And it smells so fresh. Yeah. It's wonderful. And, and we're going to put this just coarsely chopped because it's a marination, uh, although we're going to keep it on the pork tenderloin, so coarse medium. Okay. okay. So I'm going to put this like in a bowl like this. All right. And to give it some je ne sais pas quoi in a flavor, we're going to add some curry powder in there. Okay. You know? And Is that over here? yeah, you can put a little bit of that curry powder Ooh, in there. Tell me use, how much? Uh, just like a half, yeah. Like that? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to put some olive oil in there, All you know. Right. And good quality olive oil is always worth it. Uh -huh. we, we could have a, a battle uh, 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 of olive oil between Spanish and Greek and Italian. They're, they're all amazing, you know. They're all good. They're all amazing. Okay. And then we're going to put a little bit of citrus in there. So like a, a little bit orange, just leave the skin on, just cut okay. it into pieces. Ooh. That goes all in there. Skin and all. Skin and all. Okay. And, and, you know, a little bit of lemon, Ooh. you know, that gives it a a the, acidity, yeah. the acidity to it. Okay. And a lime as well. So all ah. three citruses. We're not showing any favorites. You know? No. And so, so this would be like, get that all blended together. You know, get the, this beautiful flavor. Beautiful. We're gonna crumble a couple bay leaves in there, uh -huh. you know? Put it in there, we add a little bit more oil, you know? Just like this, wonderful. And then we're gonna give it a few grinds of pepper in, onto the marination, and a little bit of salt, uh -huh. and a little bit of heat, just a little chili flakes, you know? Ah. Like oh, I there. love chili flakes. So, uh, if you like to pass this pork tenderloin over. Okay. And so, in essence, the difference, so this is uh, half of the pork tenderloin. Right. Uh, we're just going to put it in there. The oh, difference okay. between certain marinations, for example, this one is a, uh, an olive oil-based marination. There's a lot of marinations mm. which are wet, meaning uh, with like a soy sauce oh, or, yeah. or, or, uh, 
or a pineapple juice or apple juice and something like that. So that creates a whole a different animal in terms of uh, the meat. So olive oil, you can let sit in the fridge overnight. Oh, really? Now, a marination, which had like soy sauce and pineapple juice in it, it kind of cooks the meat. Uh -huh. So that one should be like four to six hours. Oh, otherwise, otherwise the, 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 the meat it firms up and it's, yeah. it's, it's not really what you but want. But this you can leave in That one is overnight. And a, yeah, look at that. So that that's, stays in there, okay? Wonderful. So the ones that uh, we have prepared uh, was at least uh, eight hours okay. in the fridge, you know? So that looks wonderful. So we leave that there for now. Fabulous. Um, with the uh, pork tenderloin, we're also going to serve a uh, root vegetable hash, which we're going to get oh. back to it in a second. Put him okay. Thank you, pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> so uh, the assortment for a root vegetable hash will include uh, shiitake mushrooms. It will have butternut squash, sweet onions, yellow beets, golden beets, mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts, gilfeder, uh, gilfeder turnip, oh. uh, purple carrots, red carrots, celery and chorizo sausage. It's a lot of work, but it's, uh, you know, it's all about mise en place. Mise en place means prepping in advance. Ah. So you do this in the morning, and this is marinated in, uh, earlier. earlier, easy peasy. And you could you know? even do that the day before if you wanted exactly. to. Exactly, and okay. this is done, and then I show, you actually can pre-cook this, and we're gonna, we're gonna get to that in a okay. minute. But, so we need to make a little bit of uh, this. Um, and this is a very special pan. Oh, this, 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 this is Hi. about as old as I am. Really? 40, 40, 40, years, 40, old? 40 years old. <laughs> I was going to say 42, 43-ish. 43 -ish. So uh, we're going to start with a little bit of butter. This is a uh, very unusual amount, of, small amount of butter for me. <laughs> oh, you're a butter guy, are you? Oh, yeah, we. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we. You know, I, I live by that because uh, my mother has a... Uh, oh, your mother is still cooking, is she? She's 90 years old, and wow. her diet has been charcuterie, Cheese, wine, and butter. And she's I mean. fine. And she's fine. I mean, what more could you ask just, for? Just huh? saying. Just saying. <laughs> You're just saying. And she lives on her own and takes oh. care of herself. And, and she so continues with that diet. I, I, Good for her. It's, it's the doctors that call her and say, you should come see me, versus the other way around. So, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Uh, oh, so anyway, I'm just going to melt the butter a little okay. bit. This is very simple. We're gonna use these beautiful, these are Honeycrisp apples from... Uh, and they're from Dutton's? They're from Dutton's as okay. well. They've been growing them for the last uh, 12 years or so and they're doing a very good job at it. Uh, with the, um, with the uh, apples, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, vanilla bean in there. Ooh. You know? And that gives it that little flavor. Uh -huh. Also like um, a little bit of spice in there, meaning uh, this is uh, ginger. Uh -huh. Uh, nutmeg. Oh, I love ginger. It's, oh, you added it together? Yeah, I made a little ginger blend. Nutmeg. Ginger, okay. nutmeg, and, um, and cinnamon. Uh -huh. We're going to put that in there. And then I'm going to put uh, like three or four slices of whole ginger. Oh, you know, I love give ginger. It that and it's so good for you, isn't it? It's, it's, it's food. Say. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All food is good. So we're just going to let this mm. kind of... Not really caramelized, we're just going to let it cook a little bit in its own juice, so to oh, speak, great. you know? Yeah. So in the meantime, uh, if you want to put a, the other pan on, we're going to sear the Wait, pork tenderloin. Sure. Okay. If we find you want to get this away from there the go. flame? No, that's fine, that's uh, good. Sure? So let this one okay. give the apple some heat okay. until... Uh, and then we're going to put uh, a little bit of bourbon in there. Ooh! Oh, yeah. And we're going to put a little bit bourbon of brown sugar. Bourbon is good sugar. with everything, isn't it? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, rum would work if uh, there's a different application. Uh, uh -huh. um, you know, I mean, you don't have to put it in there. I just happen to like it. You know. And I don't think we'll have anyone who doesn't care. For and then we're just going to put a little bit of uh, the bourbon in it. You know, make him really happy. And then we're going to try to. Try to catch oh. them a little bit of flame, you know. It doesn't oh, just to cook out the alcohol, that. just a little bit, you know. Uh -huh. Not too much. Uh, not too much because we don't want to run on waste the bourbon flavor. Right. So, <laughs> so, so we let this go. Okay. And so it has all the spices in there that we just talked about. All right. And then, actually, you can. Why don't you put a little bit of cider in here, Sally? Just. Uh, cider. Yeah. Yeah. In here. Yeah, just like okay. you know. Like, Good splash. Tell me when. Yeah, a when splash. A when? A Is more. that a when? That's a when splash. Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. So we'll uh, 
these apples, basically that's all we need to do to, to them and just let them stew. And they're just okay? going to sit. We don't need the heat under them, just yes, leave them. Yes, we're going to change this. Oh, no, okay. we're gonna, yeah, no, we want them to be like... Um, simmer? Have simmer like, a, you know, keep them al dente, ah. so to speak. You know, we don't want them to be an apple sauce. We all want right. them to be a... Um, a uh, Not like an apple A little crisp. bite to it, yeah. you know? Okay. Exactly. All right, so... I'm going to put no. this, uh, do you, you want to put this? Yeah. I'll put it best. over here? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So our pork tenderloin, uh, which has been marinated, we're going to season this with, uh, I have a salt and pepper blend in here that's just uh, kosher salt and black pepper. And we're going to season the pork tenderloin on all I'll sides. I'll hand it to you when you want it. We do both of them. Uh -huh. you know? And uh, so this is obviously fresh. It's not quite marinated yet, but this one is perfectly fine. Perfect. So. When it's nicely seasoned, you see, I, I kind of am generous in, in seasoning because uh -huh. it's important, you know? It's uh, got to give it some flavor, you know? Back up here. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in a pan. Uh -huh. And the apples here, they're, they're happy. Looking, looking they, good. They, they're yeah, they're a little jacuzzi. They smell Apple good. jacuzzi are wonderful, yeah. you know? Look yeah. at that. Awesome. Oh, fabulous. Okay. And our cider reduction is going. So yeah. we're just going to take a whole pork tenderloin and we're going to set it right into the pan right here. Okay. Beautiful. So we're going to give this a good sear. Searing the pork tenderloin, that's what we want to do. Once you put it in a hot top pan, don't touch it. Let it do its thing. It's kind of like at the beach getting a good pan, you know? Ah, so you don't so, care. See, I would turn it and no, turn it. You don't do that. No, that's, you want to build a nice crust on it and searing, you know? Oh, okay. It's still okay. Nothing goes going on. No, it's all right. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, how are you, Sally? Okay, Everything good? How are you? Yeah. 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 This is great. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. All right. This is really good. So um, we're going to do, I guess, multi-tasking. Uh, we, tasking. we can make a, a hash Look. we're going to make in this pan. Okay. So we can peak a little bit, but it's not, it's not time yet. Not you know? quite. Right. So Ooh, you want it all to be like good. evenly brown? Yeah, we're going to finish it in the oven. Mm -hmm. uh, it could work on a grill if you like to. Mm -hmm. uh, Actually, it would work excellent on a grill, but grilling season's kind of over. And, um, you know, this on the wood fire, oh my God, it's oh, looking fantastic. delicious. Yeah. But the, the, difference, the difference in this preparation is we are going to brush the tenderloins with a, a Dijon mustard, which is infused with apricot and herb de Provence and garlic. Oh. So that's going to give it a little bit of crust on top of oh, it, you know? So we're trying to... Uh, After you turn it, you're not going to... Yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. So we're going to... So it's going to bake on the tenderloin, you know? Okay. So, Ooh, so, yeah. so look we're getting, at that. We're getting some nice color going on this. Yeah. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what we want. So it's still high heat, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see us? <laughs> so, so anyway, so it's good. Just a little, a little bit more oil. oil. You know, just give it that beautiful shine on it. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes, I don't know, uh, let's call it like four minutes on each side. Okay. You know, give it a nice... Sounds good. Nice. Uh, and then we're going to put the whole pan right in the oven. Okay? The whole and pan? So, yeah, just roast it. You're not going to transfer it, just put it right in. So you really need a good pan for that, to put it in the oven. Well, yeah. Are you, and, uh, nice yeah. iron. Uh, yeah, cast iron works. Okay. Yeah. This, is, this is a, uh, a classic kind of like a French... Uh, um, uh, yeah, a French saute pan, you know, ah. versus uh, versus this uh, modern device, right? Non-stick, <laughs> which we don't use too often. I mean, not no, in your kitchen. No, it's like you we know, got that one here. He didn't bring that one. I mean, parts like this, 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 this part, as I said, you know, it's like forty. It doesn't bend. It doesn't. It's just. Yeah. It's and incredible. it's heavy. It's oh, heavy. Yeah, yeah, it's Very the best heavy. stuff. You know, sometimes old stuff is better than new I stuff. I know that. Well, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm basically satisfied with this. I'm just going to put these in the uh, in the oven. Now what's uh, that? So uh, this is very hot. Now uh, what are you putting on? Oh, that's just a little bit of herb butter, you know. Just, uh, more butter! <laughs> more butter! Okay, do you want to put this in? or? You? I will do that. I, All right. I will do that, yes. Let me have mine. All right. You sure you got it? I'm sure. All right. Go, go, go. Okay. And we can turn the uh, convection on it. Does it matter? Do we want the upper uh, yeah, or Yeah, right there. Uh, right the there? handle probably fits on the upper side better. Okay. Yeah, we didn't check that first, huh? Whoop. Perfect. Perfect. All right, crank the heat, 400 degrees, put it in there. So anyway, we're going to cook the tenderloin in the oven uh, for about, How do I depending on the size, 
12 to 15 minutes. So over here, uh, what I did is uh, to enhance the hash, which we're going to put in a pan in just one second. Uh -huh. That's also going to go in the oven. This is actually garlic. <gasps> and, uh, Look at that. So this How is, is, uh, this is garlic. Is it, is it good? Yeah, take a chance. Mm, it's great. This is uh, garlic confit. And uh, these are the garlic was dipped. They were cooked in duck fat and until it gets golden brown and then uh, slightly seasoned with uh, sugar and a little salt and pepper. So this is, this is candy. Look and how it's, beautiful it's, uh, it is. It's, it's really, I mean, it eats like candy. It's, it's really, really caramelly good. kind of mm. garlic. It's very, very, very good. No and one's going to want to talk to me, though. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the, um, so, so you can picture the ideas coming together. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a hash. We're going to put that on the bottom of the plate. And then we're roasting the pork tenderloin. It's going to get brushed with the uh, mustard, which uh, we'll see what happens in there in a second. Uh, and then uh, we're going to, um, once the pork is ready, we're going to slice the pork. We're going to put it over the hash. Ooh. And then we're going to put a spoon of our, our bourbon vanilla stewed apples. And they're going to drizzle it with this uh, cider reduction. Fabulous reduction. And then, uh, and, uh, and then we're going to garnish with uh, some fried sage leaf, which are from the garden. Oh, and, and they're so good. Yeah. They're so good. So they were just like fried in olive oil, and then uh, when they came out, just a bit of I've salt pepper I've never seen on it. fried sage so leaf good. before. So oh, they're good. they're delicious. Olive we are oil. going to use our, our uh, arrangement of root vegetable. And uh, any special order you can just put uh, it actually, in. Actually, we'll I always start with the onions first, just to get a little bit of caramelization or a little uh -huh. bit of flavor to the onions. Okay. And then we can add. This all takes the same time. I mean, they all, we want them. They all going to cook at the same time. Okay. So they they just basically going in a big jacuzzi here, olive oil jacuzzi. So anyway. So we start with the uh, onions. And real chefs use their hands, don't they? Uh, well, I don't know. I never use. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean. <laughs> Probably. No, you know what I mean. You yeah, I, do. Use, you I, do. I do. I do. I <laughs> do. I can use a spoon too. <laughs> it's yes. No, uh, I mean the salad. Uh, yes. Brussels sprouts. Jump in. <laughs> can I do it? <laughs> yes. Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. Uh, okay, I can do that. Oh, yeah. You see, you have real hands I too. I have real hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Ah, okay. Uh, so, um, so you now you can. Because I would all. think they would take a little longer. When, oh, you want them yeah. in a certain way. No, 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 no. We can leave them like that. Actually, you know what? Uh, it's going to work out just the way it's supposed to. And just like life, right? Yeah. <laughs> well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're just going to add a little bit of everything, meaning the mushrooms, the uh, uh, sausage. This pan now is not big enough. what kind of sausage are you uh, that's using? That's a chorizo. Okay. Uh, chorizo sausage. You can use andouille. You can use, you know, those, those will be my two choices. Mm -hmm. We use a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, as I said, this is a uh, gill feather turnip, uh, yams, uh, some beets, some uh, butternut squash. So it looks like a lot, and it's like, this is crazy. No, it's not. No, it's, it's well not. worth it, and, uh, and it just put it in. And it's beautiful. So. The colors are beautiful. So we just, this also going to go into the oven. We're going to put a, we're going to season it slightly, a little salt and pepper, you know. Can I put it in the oven? <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> and hold on, we're going to add a little bit more olive oil to it. You know? This is low fat. This is very good for you. It's uh, very delicious. Just wow. gonna, you see, just going to let Look it just a little bit longer. We're going to start really the caramelization. You've <laughs> uh, been doing it for a while. Ish, yeah. A little bit more olive oil. And uh, this is uh, a little bit of Herbe de Provence, you know? So this is mm. a blend of uh, dried herbs, which I like in there. And so the, um, Look at that. the um, vegetables will caramelize a little bit, so they will, re they will release their own juices as well, mm. you know? Yeah. So this is going to be really, really delicious. We're going to put the garlic in, which is a candy garlic. I guess well, you know, a few of them in there. And that's going to make it really, really delicious. And I think uh, wow. a couple of grams of black pepper. And none of it got on the stove. <laughs> no, not yet. You want to try? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't know what you're asking. So, that could be trouble. And then since we have a little bit of uh, herbs left, we just pop these right on top of it. You know, it doesn't hurt. as well use them. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So right. I think it just looks a little a bit more. A little more olive oil. 
Right. Are we going to have enough olive oil, you think? Yeah. So this can go in the oven. Okay. Awesome. So, so um, the, the reduction of the cider has just perfect. So, since this is hot, this is chilled. So it will be of this consistency once uh, once the uh, this cider is chilled, and you will you will have like this. This look at this. Look at you that! Know? Wow. So this this is like Can you see I that? don't know top couple. A couple hundred apples in there or something like that. So imagine how but concentrated. But you said a gallon. It was a gallon. A gallon. A gallon cider. Gallon I'm not sure how many apples it takes for a gallon. Well, I guess we'll have to ask Wendy. But Yeah. But May I? Oh, my God. Oh, that right? is so good. Right? I mean, that's like. Sorry, you can't yeah. do it. <laughs> 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 okay. Shall I go around now? All right. Um, oh, it's really, really good. So I think, uh, well, this is... Um, <laughs> That is really good, yeah? Yeah. So anyway, so that's so we let this uh, roast in there for a few more minutes okay. and then uh, check our apples right over here. And I think they're oh, looking good. Oh, that really is good. Right? Yeah. And these apples, these, a whoops, these apples are almost there to the point, well, I'm going to give a little bit more heat, I'm going to break them down a little bit more, but not that much more, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to, to stay them chewy. Mm, they're chewy. And... Aren't they good? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a party okay. here. Yeah. I'm going to put a little, uh, little bit of salt it. and pepper in there to kind no of wake up oil. everything. <laughs> no olive oil in the apples. They're really, 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 really good. Uh, actually, I like the seasoning on it, too. Just a little bit, a little bit more of this um, blend and perhaps a, a touch more on the sugar. Voila. Ooh, la, la. No ginger in there, right? Uh, the ginger is in there, so... Um, I usually cut the ch ginger bigger than the apple, so I know you don't want to ah, give to one right. of you guests. Okay. I'm going to take it out, you know, because biting into a piece of ginger. Well, oh, I like it's it. pleasant. Okay, yeah, well, I'll, like keep, I'll keep it in for you. Okay. All right, cool. It's good for you. you All know. right, yes. It's very good for you. And, uh, and you are good for everybody. And so are you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and together, yeah. you're going to have a wonderful meal. All right, good. All right, so okay. uh, I think uh, we should take a little break. And, uh, okay, so yeah. we'll, we'll kind of clean all this up. And then we'll come back and do dessert. All right. We're back. All right. <laughs> Look at that knife. Look at. <laughs> at least you weren't aiming it at me. There we go. All right, Sally. Okay, yes. So see what happened. Uh, we uh, had the um, uh, the uh, vegetable. Yeah, they're hot. <laughs> Uh, we had the vegetables in the oven. They got uh, with the convection, which made it nice and got nicely caramelized. Uh -huh. And so we have uh, these herbs that we threw in there. You know, so I'm uh -huh. just going to set these aside for now, okay? Uh, because you don't want to eat really branches. But it was a, just a wonderful flavor enhancer. Uh -huh. So our our hash or our roasted root vegetables is basically ready. You know, oh, fabulous! So as, as, oh, they so, look great. Um, we just basically want to do a just couple plates. Just be careful. Plates. This is very hot. So we're going to put a plate over here. If That's you all right. We can leave it there. Grab it. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Thank you. Yeah. So we're just gonna put our root vegetable right in the middle. You know, kind of separate. The colors are fabulous. You know. So this one Let me take that one. out. Yeah. You got that. You got All it. Right. Okay. And then we we'll put a little bit more over here. I don't want this. This can go. That's here. a little time. Yeah. Okay. The, um, uh, of course, if you use beets, for example, if you use red beets. Uh, it would bleed out a lot, so I don't recommend red beets. Ah. These are these are uh, uh, rainbow carrots, and but they also uh, were bleeding a little bit. And but it's okay. It's not not as bad. Not as bad as. And red you have beets, to consider you know? that, don't you? How yeah. it's going to look yeah, with what you're I, yeah, using. You don't want really all important. these beautiful turn red, you know. Right. Right. So we're gonna basically put it like that. Okay. And uh, you know, just clean up a plate a little bit, and so forth. And the so this is a wonderful, is so wonderful important. medley of uh, this it's wonderful beautiful. vegetable. Beautiful. The um, the pork tenderloin was in a convection oven. It got brushed with the uh, Dijon apricot mustard. You right. know. So we're just going to take this out. I this love in. the apricot with the mustard. Oh, it's a great combination. Oh, that is a wonderful. I would never have thought it. of that. Yeah. It's really. And neat. then we're just going to, you know. Now do you do it, it on a on a slant? Yes, yeah, just a nice little slant to okay. it. You know. You know. So we're just going to take like one. Two, three slices. Yeah, the mustard sauce is fabulous. So we're going to put these on like this. 
Ooh. Just like so. Look at this. You know? Oh, it looks spectacular. It's, it's perfectly done. Uh, yeah. Just a nice little pink to it, you know? Put those oh, it looks great. on top of this plate right over here. You know? Like so. And I love the way you place uh, it. Yeah. And then we're going to take off our wonderful, of wonderful apple. I'm going to set those right on top. And it's okay. Let it fall down, you know? It's, it's okay, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Put the apples on it. Okay. Ah, and a little spectacular. Bit more. Something like this. Okay. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of, little the, of the juice. A little bit of the juice. Well, yeah. Just a little bit like this. Bad then we're going to take our, our uh, perfectly fried sage leaves. And on wait top till of you it. taste you those. Know? They're absolutely fabulous. So we're just going to put them in a couple fabulous. of them. Something oh, like this. That looks so nice. Something very simple. You know, something yeah. you do every day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then, Something uh, you do every day. Uh, the, so oh. the, the difference between this is the Did you want a little this spoon? this reduction is still very hot. Yeah. So I, I, I don't want to use it. I'm going to use this one okay. because it's too hot. It would just kind of leak on the plate. So I'm just going to use a little bit of our oh of look our, at that of our other reduction. Okay. Oh beautiful. And put that around. Voila. Fabulous. So basically, let's see. Voila. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs> oh. Wait till you see this fabulous dessert. And the first cut was just not perfect, so I just had to taste it. <laughs> it worked out okay for you? Oh, it was All fabulous. Right, good. fabulous. So anyway, a very simple dessert, and uh, we just made a uh, caramel sauce, which uh, oh. homemade caramel sauce is the best thing. And uh, I mean, it's cream, butter, and sugar. I mean. <laughs> How can you go wrong, right? Uh, no, I didn't well, make one well. here tonight. We're just going to use on a plate just a little bit of caramel and uh, put it on a plate. Don't you love that and, design? And uh, we're just going to do a little bit of uh, uh Did of you take art classes too? Uh, You're very artistic. No, it's, uh, I got lucky. No, it's more than luck. And so this is a pumpkin cheesecake, and it's very seasonal since we have that fall uh, festivity all day, you know? So we're going to put... A pumpkin cheesecake has a uh, uh, wafer crust, vanilla, uh, vanilla wafers with uh, cocoa powder in it and uh, sugar and butter. Fabulous. And then the pumpkin puree is actually uh, delicious. And it's, it's, and it's good for you. <laughs> Vitamin C. And, uh, and then we're uh, just going to... Do you really like, have I, to do that? Yeah, well, I, I can't, you know what I like with it? I actually like caramel gelato with it. But it was very difficult to bring caramel gelato in. So, so instead, well, I, said, I, said, I said to my no. wife, Melanie said... And Melanie think, did this for us, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, no, I Thank said, you, I said, Melanie. Yeah. We can all, Melanie is there doing yeah. everything that needs to be done. Yeah. I said to her, I said, I think we need whipped cream with some booze in it, you know? <laughs> so, so this Where's is... Where's the whipped, bourbon? This, no, this is actually whipped cream with uh, Kahlua and Baileys. Ooh! Ooh, ooh right? put some on mine, okay? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Frangelica. Yeah. Uh, oh. What a party. Uh, what a party. We're going to feed you in just a little bit. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Sally. It was fantastic. It was it a was wonderful so evening. It was so much fun. And thank you all for coming. And thank to Jeanette's dinner party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.